again, the struggle, and I do mean this, the struggle for most students is going to be to look at this and then to get this over here. And why do we want to do that? Well, for one reason, just to factor it, right? That's one reason you may want to do it. The other reason is use quadratic formula. So if you're going to use quadratic formula, you write down what the A is. The A is A, when I say the A, the uppercase A in the formula, A squared plus B squared. The B, or the uppercase B in this thing, is going to be minus the quantity A cubed plus 2A squared B plus 2A B squared plus B cubed. And the C is going to be A cubed B plus 2A squared B squared plus A B cubed. Yeah, it's kind of nightmarish. There's no doubt about it. But for instance, it's over here. Then what do you do? Go to the quadratic formula. It's very unpleasant. I want to point out, though, it can be factored if you want. All right, now someone says, how do you know it can be factored? Look at the answers. All right, I know it can be factored, just looking at those answers. So then the question is, how would you have factored it? Well, let's go through that. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to sh show you that it, it looks like this over here. So it looks like, you know, A squared plus B squared X and the other factor is going to be X. Now we give me the first one. And I got to be honest with you, it's tough. I'm not saying it's going to be easy for you, but kind of looking at it, I'm going to say, let's take a look at it. I'm going to say minus A plus B over here, right? You know, so how do you look at that? How do you know that? I'm looking at the answer. I know it, all right? What goes over here? Let's take a look at it. This would be minus. I want to point out, looking at the answer, and I am looking at the answer, by the way, I know this guy over here is going to be A, B, A plus B. Now, by the way, the fact that I'm saying I know that, I may not actually know that. I may just believe that. All right, Knowing that means you're willing to multiply this out and get what we said you're going to get. That would be knowing it, right? Now, I say I know it because I'm looking at it, but I don't know that. You may know that if you do the work on it. I'm going to tell you the work is unpleasant. Whether you do quadratic or factoring, the work is unpleasant. But I want to point out, if you can manipulate this to get this, you're well on your way to getting there, all right? So I want to point out these things are written down for you for a reason. We want you to look at those things and make sure you can agree with those things. If you can't, I'm not beyond making a mistake, by the way. And this is this over there. I did the quadratic formula. Yeah, it was tedious. Yeah, I get this in the end with all that simplification. I also want to point out, if I were able to factor it, I could easily write down the answer to this one over here. What do you mean by that? Looking at the first, what do I get over here? X equals, that would be AB, A plus B over A squared plus B squared. And the second guy would be x equals just a plus b. Are we getting those answers? Let's take a look. Yeah, we're getting those answers, all right? It's unpleasant, though. I realize that. We are moving very close to the end of the problem set. This is an extremely long problem set, and I know that. If you're working through this problem by problem, you're getting stronger each problem you attack. There's no doubt about it. Thank you.